Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'll be discussing with you and showing you how you can operate the IBFlex uh, digital equipment for drive testing. You can also refer to my previous uh, video that can show you how to set up all the software on the tablet and uh, the meanings of all the ports. So let's jump into it. So now we got the IBFlex PCTEL. Uh, these are the antennas. We have the GPS antenna should be mag mounted this is the omnidirectional antenna also it covers from 698 to 3.6 gigahertz that's all you need for outdoor and we got the usb port the LAN port gps port uh, and the wi-fi bluetooth port the com port and the rf1 this is where the antenna will come in the bluetooth is used to pair the pc tell with the tablet now we plug in the gps antenna right here and the external omni antenna at rf1 all right we switch on the pc tell ib flex see all the lights coming blue means it's good to go for the bluetooth now we come to the tablet or iphone click on the seahawk touch app be able to start device list as i showed in my previous videos you need to pair the the, the pc tell with your tablet once in, in your that uh, on that window you can click the technology i already saved the workspace for my channels and the technologies and we're good to go previous video will show you how to set up your channels for each technology Here you can set up the measurement you'd like to see uh, while you're driving because I selected like seven or eight bands I'd like to see this one and I want to see it as a label the RSRP you have several options here RSRQ, CYANR and cell ID apply and now we come hit the play button the map should come up and we should be able to start seeing some signals within a few seconds. The red one indicates that's the one that's going to be displayed on the map. Now that we got some uh, signals uh, measured over here, we can decide to record our measurement. Everything will be displayed uh, on the map here as you drive with different uh, point colors depending on the signal strength. Uh, to record, you click the record button. And then you drive around you finish your test once you're done you click the stop button and that's the test name if you a common mistake people would do is click rename you should delete that name and once you type on your own test name you click rename and you should be good to go i hope this video was very beneficial for you i hope you like it uh, share and i'll be open to read your comments let me know if you have any questions and Thank you for watching.